Welcome to our Excel tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to calculate the compound annual growth rate, CAGR, and the average annual growth rate, AAGR. These metrics are crucial for evaluating the performance of investments and businesses over time. Before we dive into the calculations, let's understand what CAGR and AAGR are. CAGR measures the rate of return for an investment over a period, smoothed out annually. AAGR, on the other hand, is the arithmetic mean of a series of annual growth rates. To calculate CAGR, you divide the ending value of an investment by its starting value, raise the result to the power of 1 over the number of years, and subtract 1. The formula looks like this. Assuming you have the start value in cell B1, the end value in B2, and the number of years in B3, you can calculate CAGR with the formula. Enter this formula into cell C2. After calculating CAGR, select cell C2, go to the Home tab, and click the Percent Style command under the Number group to convert the result into a percentage format. Alternatively, you can use the Power function to calculate CAGR with the formula. Equals Power, B2, B1, 1, B3, 1. This will give you the same result in a slightly different way. Another method is to use the rate function, which can be used with the formula. Equals rate, B3, B1, B2. This function directly calculates the rate of growth per period when the number of periods and the start and end values are known. Now, let's move on to AAGR. To calculate AAGR, you first need to determine the growth rate for each year, which is the difference between the end and start values divided by the start value. Assuming you have a list of revenues for a 5-year period, calculate the growth rate for each year with the formula. B3 B2 B2. Enter this formula in cell C3 and drag the autofill handle down to calculate for other years. After calculating the growth rates, select the range C3, C6, go to the Home tab, and click the Percent Style command to format these values as percentages. Finally, to get the AAGR, average all the annual growth rates using the average function. Enter the formula, equals average, C3, C6, in cell C7 to calculate the average. That's it. You've now learned how to calculate both CAGR and AAGR in Excel, which are essential for understanding the growth trajectory of investments and businesses. These calculations can help you make informed decisions and forecasts. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to practice these calculations to enhance your financial analysis skills. For more Excel tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to our channel.